Hello students, welcome to Diadme IS. I am Zeba. I am faculty of management at Diadme IS. I welcome you all today for a session that we have conducted to discuss about the strategy of management as an optional subject in your UPSC mains exam. So let's begin our session for today. If you have any doubts, you can ask your questions or any kind of a query related to the management optional subject and your query will be addressed. Thank you so much. Okay, when I talk about management subject as an optional, many times it's a myth amongst students preparing for the UPSC optional subject that management as a subject is lengthy and would need a lot of time and effort when it comes to preparing for the optional subject. But like for example, we have other GS subject as well. So what students try to understand from their point of view is that if they choose management optional as a subject, it would create a lot of more cumbersome task for them to handle. So here at Diadme IS, I'm going to just slide out that kind of question that students have or the kind of queries that students have regarding management optional as a subject. First, the, on the slide as you can see here also, that I would really, really make you understand that why management as, a sub, as an optional subject is quite easy for you to take and secure good marks. Here as you can see, as a management optional, the syllabus is very, very much predictable and it's a standard syllabus. The topics are very much status, statistic, Stat, sorry, statistic. Sorry, static. And compared to the other optional subject, it is comparatively, it has a much more scoring value, right? And the preparation is moderate. If you use the right strategy, if you have the right kind of a guidance, you can easily opt for the subject and you can go ahead with your preparation. It won't create any kind of a hindrance exactly like any other GS subject that you are preparing, this subject as an optional would give you a good uh, bandwidth of preparing and as well as it would prepare you for the interview for further. This syllabus, although it appears to be lengthy, but it can be covered if covered with the right strategy for sure, you can easily complete your syllabus. Then, as I just mentioned earlier, it is very easily to ha be handled as an optional subject during your interview. It is a far-sighted object. Post your selection also, when you are going to go ahead for your training and other things, you are going to use this subject very much, whatever you have studied, in those practical learnings, as in theory as well, right? Definitely a far-sighted advantage of the subject after all the points that you have just read on the screen. And Definitely with the right kind of a guidance, you can easily crack this exam. And when I'm talking about cracking this exam, you have to make sure that the optional subject, because many times what happens is students have taken optional subject and that is where the problem comes. Although they have scored well marks in the GS paper, but when it comes to the optional subject, just because of any kind of a difference in the exams, if it, with the right strategy, you won't believe that 300 almost expected marks can be secured from your management optional as a subject if you use the right strategies. Many toppers have almost aimed around to these marks and they have also claimed that if they have, would have given little more of their efforts or the little more of their uh, time devotion regarding the preparation, they would have easily, easily secured management optional. And many students who have cleared management optional clearly say that even if they get a chance to again opt for another optional subject, they would again choose management as a sub optional subject. Then at Diadme, you have the right guidance available for the optional subject. We have 100% completion of the syllabus. You have the expert faculty available for you who will guide you towards the right approach to crack this paper. You have value addition services. Then you have latest and updated information. When it comes to answer writing, you need to have the upgraded information. Because see, what happens is amongst two students who are attempting the same kind of a question, the, the kind of the framework of the designing of the way you are writing your paper matters a lot, right? So of course, the niche that you are going to create while attempting your answer will create a difference between the marks 
that your fellow mate has secured or you have secured. Then we have everything based on the UPSC pattern here and special emphasis as is given at PYQ. If you have taken a mastery at your PYQs, the previous year papers for sure, you are going to make sure that you're going, you're going to go, go towards the right direction towards your preparation. Slabus analysis is definitely a, a part of the preparation, but practicing the PYQs and being mastered at, mastered at them also, also is very important, right? You can join our Telegram channel that is available and you can even call for any kind of a queries or you can enroll yourself for the same. Now let's start with today's session. In the management section paper, you have the, uh, the division of the uh, exam is in terms of two papers, paper one and paper two. The kind of subjects or the modules that are available in paper one are management functions and process, organizational behavior and design, human resource management, accounting for managers, financial management, marketing management. These two subjects are somewhat numerical based. Please don't uh, have, so uh, one more question that I would address here is that many times students who are from the non-commerce background, they have this query regarding the fact that ma'am will be able to clear this exam because we have never uh, you know, studied any subject like numerical base or anything related to finance, accounting or statistics. It is very easy for you to create, you know, to clear this exam even if you are not from a commerce background. I have seen many, many students who are actually from the technical background and who have taken or, uh, you know, selected management as an optional and have secured very good marks, right? So you can go ahead with this in the paper one. It's always a good ratio maintained. It's more of like a 50-50 ratio. Or sometimes if, if the, there is little, you know, the paper is a little application based, that time it becomes comes to 60 to 40 ratio. Otherwise, it's usually 50-50 depending upon the kind of questions that are asked. Then in paper two, you have the other modules as strategic cost management. You have international business, government business interface, MIS or management information system. Then you have quantitative techniques in decision making. This is a statistics topic, right? We call it statistics or quantitative decision in uh, technique in decision making. Then you have production and operations management. Usually it is considered the most lengthy, like the syllabus of this particular module is considered to be lengthy. But as I just mentioned, you have to use the right strategy. You, ha you have to go ahead with the right steps towards completion of these, all the modules. And once you have you know, covered all these modules and you have taken a good understanding of the way or the strategy, and you have done immense number of answer writing for the mocks that we conduct, you can definitely, definitely clear this exam very easily. Let's move on with the first part of today's session, that is with the paper one. I'll discuss the paper one, uh, the different modules respectively. And then in those particular modules also, I'm going to like show it to you that how these questions or the previous year questions are very much aligned with the syllabus and how you can practice those questions repeatedly and just create a very, you know, create a creative answer while writing your answers. For paper one, is, it is basically for 250 marks. The number of questions are, that are total mentioned in the question paper are eight, but you have to attempt five. Question number one and question number five are compulsory, right? So the paper is basically divided into two sections, section A and section B, right? For the first section, you have question number one here, right? And respectively followed by other questions. And in qu the B section, you have the question number five. And then respectively, the other three questions you can choose because these two questions, question number one and five are compulsory. The marks that are basically aligned to the questions are 10 marks, 15 marks, or 20 marks, right? So this is how the entire marks section is divided for each question. Uh, so it is very easy for you to, because that's what I was discussing. If you are using the right approach of answer writing and you are being regular while practicing your answers, you can easily clear all these exams, surely. So let's move on to the discussion. 
I'm going to start with the first module for today that is manage managerial functions and operations. As you can see on the slide in front of you all that I have mentioned the syllabus of this particular sub module. You have concepts and foundations of management, evolution of management thoughts, managerial functions, decision making, roles of manager, entrepreneurship, global environment, social responsibility. Now some students would be wondering that why ma'am has highlighted the other, like these particular topics. That is because these topics are very frequently asked in your previous year questions. So what UPSC does is there are certain topics which are very much in like, you know, very much asked very frequently. So these are those topics, few of the topics for sure that they have been constantly coming in your previous year questions and very much aligned with the real life based scenarios also, right? The global environment of the country in terms of business and management. So all those things are also play a very significant role in your UPSC paper framing, all right? Now let's move on to the second module of paper one that is OB or organizational behavior and design. You have here the conceptual model of OB, then you have individual process and personality, motivation, work stress, stress management, the conflicts and negotiation things that happen in an organization, organization job design, jo organizational theory, organizational cultural, managing cultural diversity, network, knowledge based, based enterprise, and definitely as I have just highlighted the few particular topics like individual process, stress management, leadership. So in the one of the previous year question, a very direct question was asked where they asked the students to distinguish between a manager and a leader. So somebody who has been very thorough with the syllabus and who has actually, actually practiced the answer writing quite well will be able to attempt that answer. Of course, it's a direct question. Uh, I would say this is very easy for somebody who has actually studied. So it's very much, uh, you know, e a, a very e easy question. You can, but the way you will attempt that question makes a, a lot of difference. Then you have HRM or human resource management. It's one of the most scoring subject because what happens is the questions that are asked are very much static. They are related to human resource management as an organization, uh, what are the human resource management, because right now there's a culture of understanding that how an uh, organization is basically considered to be progressive. So in the world market today, this subject has been comparatively asked a lot more times in, uh, along with the organizational behavior subject in paper one. Then you have here job analysis, job evolution, evaluation, then you have training and development, performance management, employee morale, human resource information system, and international human resource management. And topics like HRM, challenges of HRM, strategic management of HRM, recruitment and selection, they have been very much and very frequently been asked. So if you see the previous year's paper, these topics have been considered coming often, right? Then for your next module that is in paper one accounting for managers this is your first numerical based subject in paper one and of course scoring when it comes to numericals because the numericals that are asked are mostly direct questions right so here accounting for managers we is usually divided into two sections there this is financial accounting and this is cost accounting so depending upon the kind of uh, topic that you are going to study here, the questions or the numericals come. And if you can see here also that in financial accounting, I have highlighted management accounting, overhead, budgetary control, zero based budgeting and so on. So these topics are there, which are very frequently asked in this particular module. Then you have financial management again another or the second uh, numerical based subject here. In financial management paper, the concept of finance, uh, the financial function, the management of a cash, working capital, capital budgeting, capital uh, money marketing, you know, all these questions are asked. In one of the previous year pa uh, papers, SWAP was directly asked as a very direct and a very easy question. So if you 
our understanding from what I'm delivering this to you, uh, the concept uh, regarding the managerial option, optional subject to you, that the paper is definitely can be attempted by someone who has taken the right approach, for sure, and who has done a lot of answer writing practice. You don't have to, you know, create, um, uh, go ahead and create a different diverse uh, concepts while attempting the uh, paper. You have to just take a mastery on all these topics and go ahead and attempt your questions. Because writing is definitely an art that is going to come only by practice. Then we have marketing management. This is the last module of paper one. And here, um, from the previous year papers, these topics have been very much asked and are very much uh, frequently asked in, even in interviews. Uh, the topics which have been, uh, uh, which come under marketing management are marketing strategy formi uh, formulation, uh, segmentation, analyzing competition, uh, buyer behavior, market research, marketing channels. Uh, building customer satisfaction, internet marketing, and in, in this uh, digital age of e where we have everything related to online shopping, many questions are framed uh, in context to that. Then you have customer relationship management, and so forth. Right? So this is basically what the syllabus is of management in paper one. And now I'm going to discuss few questions, and I'm going to uh, relate whatever the questions that the examples of some certain questions that I have taken, I'm going to relate it to the, uh, the syllabus analysis that we have just done. Let's go ahead and see that. Okay, for the previous year question trend analysis, especially for paper one, you can see here I have uh, started the, uh, the previous year questions from uh, taken from 2020. I have included one of the easy questions, then a little difficult question where students would take little, you know, time to think upon and attempting the paper question. The first one is the concept of conservatism, and it was asked in 2020. It's a very direct question. When uh, when you are doing the subject of management, you are going to uh, come across with the concept of con conservatism. Then you have. The second question here, where you, they have asked you, the question is, the products differ in the ways consumer buys them. Elucidate, explain the different categories of product and relate them with the type of distribution approach that is most appropriate for their availability. This is a little difficult question for somebody because here you have to think before attempting this question. Of course, this is not a direct question. There is something which uh, you have to include here regarding the topic that you have studied throughout the uh, paper one subject. Then you have the four, third question. It is a definitely easy question. The way they have asked you to distinguish between leasing and higher purchase. Then for the fourth question here that I have included is the important trends in the business market today. Then you have the trends of shaping HRM. Then what is the conventional uh, human resource view being replaced by strategic H, uh, HRM. So definitely it comes from the HRM subject. Then we have the fifth question where they have asked you directly what is variance al analysis and they have asked you the difference cost analysis, the reasons for different cost analysis. An, an easy question in 2021. Then for the sixth question that I have included, it's a little def definitely a dif difficult question because of they have they asked you the concept of market segmentation, but along with that, they have also included a detail because at that point in time in 2021, since COVID-19 was at its peak, so they have included the concept of market segmentation with the comprehensive market research plan along with the newly developed herbal preparations. So a student who has uh, been reading constantly, who, ha who has taken a good understanding of the current affairs, he or she will be only able to write this answer because uh, this question um, was for 20 marks. So for 20 marks, you cannot just be very much aligned, you know, you very much, uh, you, can't, you can't just be uh, talking about the market segmentation. You have to talk about the real life example. And definitely when I talk about answer writing, since it's an art, 
I'm going to make you understand that how you are going to write a management answer so that it does not become boring and the person or the examiner who is actually evaluating your answer sheets get an idea that this student is having a good knowledge about this subject and is not just confined to the theory study, right? Then I just, like I mentioned to you today uh, in the beginning of when we were studying the, uh, the finance part, the question of swap has been asked, the ty common types of swaps an easy question and then the eighth question was about the sales forecast in uh, subject to error where there is no purpose of budgeting of course a little man a moderate question not a difficult one but a moderate question in 2021 then the seventh uh, question here is like i just mentioned what is swap eight also we have discussed the ninth question here is the main difference between capital market and money market an easy question of course then for the 10th question, they have asked uh, a little detailed where they have said that researchers argue that challenge st stressors operate quite differently from the hindrance st stressors. Give your views, what are potential environment, organizational, personal sources of stress at work? So this is regarding the stress management thing that you're going to study in your uh, subject of organizational behavior. Right, so here definitely a little difficult question because the details of all those things have to be amalgamated in one single answer, right? Then you, ha you are asked a very easy question in the year 2020 where they have asked you a, uh, a difference between manager and a leader along with an example. The 12th question that they have asked you is um, with a statement where they, have asked, where they have said that change or die is the rallying cry among today's managers. So here the, con the concept of role of managers come and this comes from your first module of paper one, managerial functions, where they have asked you to talk about the role of a manager and explain the approaches of managing organizational change. It's a moderate question. This is a moderate question that has been asked. The strategy for paper one is basically where you are going to start with the each module. Make sure that you have given a good at least one day for because you are going to start preparation with the right strategy. So make sure that you are given one day in total for your understanding of the syllabus. I'm, I can't emphasize more on the fact that understanding the syllabus of management is very, very essential because it gives you a clear idea about the kind of concepts that you are going to study. And once you are studying this concept, you can re very much relate it to the other GS subjects that you are studying, right? So understanding of the syllabus is very important. Then you can just devote the right strategy would be giving at least one day for each module to understand the syllabus then you can start go ahead and start completion of the syllabus by note making and other things then you can start the detailed completion of the syllabus you can by uh, following com co covering all the topics under each module you can st do uh, write do with note making and uh, for certain subjects you can cr create running notes as well you have uh, don't create so for the sources that you have please please don't go ahead with the detail when i talk about detail completion of syllabus syllabus please don't get this in uh, the notion that we have to have n number of sources because the topics are very much there the detail syllabus is there but you have to just be very much aligned to a confined notes or confined book there are uh, books that I'm going to discuss at the end of the session for each module. You can go ahead and you can read those books regarding the topics that are there in the syllabus. Then, as I just told you, comprehensive answer writing is very important. As soon as your one module is completed, start writing your answers. Take your previous year questions. Since you have studied this, uh, the modules, the, they would be very much be there fresh in your mind. So you can st start attempting the answer and you can m try to understand that how much actually the content you have, what you have learned or you have read, you have actually able to implement it while writing, writing an answer. 
Usually, when it comes to answer, it is expected that you are going to divide your answer into three parts. One is going to be your introduction, the second going to be is your the body, and the third, the third is going to be the conclusion. So, when it comes to answer writing, although the students know the concept for sure, but when it comes to the way the flow of the answer is, they get stuck at that point in time. So definitely make sure that this particular comprehensive answer writing part is very much there and very much practiced, right? And once you have completed the answer writing, you can submit it to any of the expert and the analysis will be received by you where you are going to get a clear feedback of understanding that where, where are your areas of development. So what all, what all are your areas of development? And you can quickly start and uh, you know work upon those uh, areas. And your feedback is going to help you a lot because it is going to make you an, uh, a clear idea upon those topics which are your strengths as well as which are your weakness. So make sure that you are submitting your answers. You are just not writing it and you are actually giving it to some expert or some faculty for the reviews so that you get a clear feedback, all right? So this is the for paper one. Um, before moving on to paper two, if you have any queries, kindly let me know.